Hey, check it out, Katrina. Hey, this kind of looks like ours. Yeah. And new friend. Hey. This is Mark. Mark has all the cool attachments we'll have to see here in a few minutes. Uh, well, I bought the plate, the blank plate, and then I put jacks on it. So when I set it down, it doesn't, you know, it sets level. Now, is that just a Titan plate? Yeah, it's a Titan plate. And then I, I fabricated the angle iron and put another bracket on there, the same bracket that you put on the front of the tractor. If I want to take and move that quick attachment blade or I want to move my snow blower out of the shed into here, I could just use the three point hitch off the back, pick it up, or okay, I could use Okay, so I could just hook this in my heavy hitch mm -hmm. and I could grab it. So this is some sort of a hoist. It's an engine hat folding engine hoist. These fold down, these legs fold down. Uh -huh. And I tried it yesterday. I welded that plate to it, and I can put that right on my hitch receiver. Uh -huh. And then I can pick that up if I need to move a generator or something small, load it up and put it in the back of the truck, or I can even put it on the front front of the tractor on the load. So you use it sort of like a boom pole. Yeah. A fancy that's, boom pole. That's the idea. Which uh, two-inch receiver do you use usually when you put the weights on? Do you right use here. them up here? So yeah. you put that right in here, and you've got your nice little weight bar. And then I just hang my weights all the way across it. And everything, I like to keep everything on there always. Looks like you weld an additional plate on there to make That's that exactly. a little stronger. You can make them a little stronger. I noticed this was starting to bow as I welded this on a piece of pipe all the way across the top to get that a little more support. This is the dolly for the uh, box blade. You just built that with two regular dollies and a, yep. and a shelf board. Harbor, this is a Titan pallet forks, but it came with the receiver in the middle. I mean, I have no idea what that's really is, but it doesn't feel like more than... 75 pounds. I can't lift more than 75 pounds without grunting. <laughs> this is an original tractor cab, right? Yep. We just visited their facility yesterday. Where they made yeah. it too? Yeah. See, what I did is I made it. I made a dolly up just like it was sitting on the tractor frame. It's bolted down. That's a nice way to handle it. So you take the whole yeah. thing frame and all off during yep. the summer. Yep. The first thing I notice here is uh, this box blade appears to be the wrong color. I'm an originalist. I wouldn't have done that. You would have left it the red? Yeah, or I wouldn't have bought it because it was red. So what do you use this for? Do you do much well, gardening or? got a lady that would like her driveway dragged a couple times, so that's the reason I bought it. What's, uh, what's this? Are you going to chase people down? Do you like? Oh my goodness, look at it go. Do you think I need one of those, Katrina? I, I think you're not official until you have one of those. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that does look a lot more official, doesn't it? So we just installed one of those. We've, that's another video that's uh, we're editing right now. It's uh, the so very well, same as that well heavy hitch plate. And then he's got a hook attached. Yeah, he's got a hook instead of a draw bar, doesn't he? Is that wax or is that armor? That's armor all. The armor all idea is something that uh, you need to get on, Katrina. You, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, uh, I don't think that's prime eligible and spring break ends in like three days. I wasn't going to get the backhoe attachment and the wife goes, I want that backhoe attachment. I said, do you realize that backhoe attachment's over five grand? No, so I want it anyway. Mark has a pretty good finance committee. Yeah, I said, you want what? And it cost how much? Yeah. But, I mean, the backhoe is the cutest part of the tractor, so. Not only is Mark's finance committee very uh, open to him purchasing supplies, Mark's wife works for Menards. <gasps> no <laughs> way! She works in the plumbing department. Plumbing, electrical, electrical appliances, appliances too. Savings, savings will always, always come right back, back to you. you. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Wow. 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 Look how clean that is. Do you ever take it out and dry yeah. it? A little bit. 67 Nova. It's originally a California car. And we bought it back in 01. I had to make the brackets to keep the, the chute tied down. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't anything there. It was gone. And I had to buy another quick hitch. So is that your third quick hitch? Yeah, I got three of them. Now, I see that you've, for storage, you've taken off your feet. Oh, so I can get it in through the doors. The dolly that I see. You understand okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The storage stuff. Do you use the thumb a lot? I have. It's good for ripping out plants or something, or ripping out a uh -huh. root, or trying to pick a rock up. You've got your ballast box back there. Yep. And then this is a five foot blade? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's got much use on it. No, it doesn't. Do you mow anything with this? I have, I've used it once. You notice how much dirt's on that. It's never been even on the tractor. I've never even had it hooked up. The dollies are just all 
Perfect. What I do is I take and roll this to the doorway and I pick it up with the winch. <coughs> okay, so this up. dolly never leaves the basement. Either one of the dollies are going to leave the basement. Okay. And then I set it on the garage floor and then I pick it up with the tractor. Is there an attachment you don't have? Oh, I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah, come over here, Katrina. This is what I grew up with. Hey, I had a Tonka truck. Yeah, Tonka truck maybe. These they stopped making at some point, probably between our generations. Uh, they made them plastic for a while, and that was that was the beginning of the end. But boy, these things were so strong, and you could dig in real dirt with them. So the way you lifted the load bucket was this. See, it had two or three different preset heights. And then when you got to your destination, you could dump it just like that. So. Take okay, these off. All three of these off. Uh-huh. Hey, Mark, it's been really good to, to meet you and see all of your equipment here uh, today. You've got a lot of interesting attachments. Got a lot of ideas. Uh, love the videos. That's that's the best thing. Watch them. I can I can go back in and watch them again if I miss something. What's your favorite video moment of Tractor Time with Tim? About all of them. <laughs> really? Oh, all, just really about nice. all of them. <laughs> I had to figure out how to describe to him after I started watching them. It's really not that hard. All it's you have to hard. have is, a, is a, a Google account, and it's free. And then you can subscribe, and then you'll get notification of the videos that lets you. Uh, right. Just by having the Google account, you'll be able to leave comments. Um, so we'd love to hear from you. Do we can, I can always tell when Tim writes something back because I'll have a notification up on the corner of the page and say, hey, you got a notification. And I try to respond to most comments. It, it, there's a lot of comments anymore. It's getting more difficult. But very good uh, to, to get to see your place, Mark, and see all of your equipment. I'm sure the rest of our subscribers really enjoyed that as well. Keep watching our videos. Press the thumbs up button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.